It's a chance for Smith of Boston to shot. Manny Eagle made the save. Another try. They made the score. O'Ree was looked to be the last one to touch it. Willie O'Ree, the first black man to play in the National Hockey League. He was not a surefire superstar chosen after long deliberation to knock down a racist color barrier. His ascendance to the highest level of the game was brief. It was years before others would follow in his footsteps, and years more before his legacy was fully appreciated. But Ori was the first. He made history, and he quietly endured the sting of racism throughout his long career. In terms of this business of being the Jackie Robinson of hockey, have you had any trouble? No, none, none that you could uh, say that were trouble. I've heard a few jeers like that, but uh, I guess all hockey players. Yeah. A lot of times you'd go to different ranks and he'd be getting booed. He'd just brush it right off his shoulders. He was smart enough not to ever say anything. And Boston went O'Ree down the ice. I was taught uh, by my older brother, and he said, names will never hurt you, Willie, unless you let them. So I just let it one in one ear and out the other when I was playing. Willie O'Ree grew up in Fredericton, New Brunswick, playing hockey on frozen ponds and outdoor rinks. As a teenager, he moved to Ontario and joined a junior team in Kitchener. He graduated from there to the senior Quebec Aces, coached by Punch Imlach. Then, and for many years afterwards, O'Ree succeeded on the ice, despite the fact that he was blind in one eye, a secret he kept throughout his long playing career. In 1958, before a game against the Canadians at the Forum, the Boston Bruins required reinforcements. They called O'Ree up that night and kept him on the team for the return match the next day at the Boston Garden. When I stepped on the ice on January the 18th, 1958, it was quite a thrill. I didn't realize at the time that I had made history. It wasn't until uh, the next day that it registered with me that I, I did break the barrier. The Bruins sent O'Ree back to the minors after those two games, and he remained there until he was called up again in 1960. O'Ree played 43 games that season, scored four goals, and was interviewed between periods on Hockey Night in Canada. Willie, uh, I'm going to start off with you and your biggest thrill, I understand, came on uh, New Year's Day. Tell us about it. Well, yes, Ward. Uh, we played the Montreal Canadiens in Boston, and uh, I scored my first National League goal. It was not only my, my first, but it was the, uh, the winning goal. The next year, O'Ree was back in the minors, where he played on, mostly in Southern California, before retiring at age 43 in 1979. The NHL hired him as its diversity ambassador in 1998 to spread the gospel of inclusion. A smiling, charming presence, always Natalie attired, O'Ree told his story over and over again throughout the hockey world, usually while billed as the sport's own Jackie Robinson. A lot of respect for Willie. He went through a lot of tough times when he first came up, but uh, he was able to accomplish what he wanted to. In later years, O'Ree bore witness to a discussion about diversity and inclusion in hockey, driven by a new generation of players for whom he helped open the door so long ago. That conversation really began with him. Hockey's Willie O'Ree played the unique role thrust upon him with courage and with grace. <laughs> 